Ethan High School sports are finally back in action after weeks of a sports ban. Many students are now practicing and gearing up for winter sports, what's left of winter sports. Ben Straka, a certified Richie. athletic trainer with Hartford Health Care Rehabilitation Network, joins us now live. Good morning, Ben. Appreciate your time. Oh, um, so oh thanks for having me. So kids are out playing again, but for some it's been uh, weeks of doing nothing. What do they need to remember as they get back on the court, the rink, the field, whatever it may be? You know, there isn't a magic trick to get in shape overnight. So uh, right now, I think it's very important to adjust your goals in returning to sport after almost 10 months of inactivity. Uh, I think it starts from the top with parents, coaches, administrators, that they're not going to be ready for day one. So kind of gradually getting into those practices and for the athletes, just listening to their bodies. A sore, tired muscles are the muscles that get injured. It could, we saw a lot of chronic injuries and overuse injuries in the fall. And we also saw some of the bigger inj injuries, your tears, your sprains, your strains, um, like the ACL. So if you have a sore muscle, stretch it, ice it, go see your athletic trainer, um, ask for a break. But I think the big thing is the goals need to be adjusted in athletics. So you're not getting ready to win the first game. You're giving these kids something that they look forward to uh, after being in lockdown for almost 10 months. That said, Ben, these are teenagers we're talking about. They're a lot more resilient in what they can do uh, physically than, say, a 53-year-old man. I mean, I'm not saying we, we <laughs> should push them too hard, but, but they're teenagers. They're, they're naturally flexible, and uh, they're, uh, their bodies are meant to take the pounding a little bit more than, say, a middle-aged person. You know, they are teenagers, and they're in activity. They'll be able to bounce back quicker than me. Um, However, it starts even in the highest league. I was watching an interview uh, with the NBA when they first got down to Orlando, and they asked the player, how's practice? And this guy was in his young 20s right out of college, and he says, all we're allowed to do right now is shoot and lift weights. So they're setting a good example from up top that we should be trickling all the way down. Um, the benefits of mental health of just going out and shooting a basket in the gym with all your friends is really big. You know, there was you walk around campus here at Trinity College or at some of these high schools, there's a lot of sad kids walking around because their primary identifier is an athlete, you know, and that was taken away from them. So be, being in the gym, just shooting probably wasn't sufficient, you know, last year. This year, it's very important to get these kids together and do it as safely as possible. Yeah, and part of that's not just the physical activity, as we know as athletes. It's the camaraderie, just being with your peers and, and hanging out. Final 30 seconds or so, Ben. So what can parents and coaches do to help in this process with our, with our teenage athletes? Um, really, we recommend a 75 to 25 percent split where the majority of practice is going to be this week high coaching uh longer rest breaks and really more tactical skills more skill set based and then gradually progressing to that full practice where they're running them into the ground uh you know no kid is going to stand up to a coach and say that guy in the news said we shouldn't be sprinting for two hours so athletic directors coaches really advocating for their kids' health and getting these, realizing that getting these kids on the court are more important than possibly winning that rival that first game. Well, for the record, Ben, this guy on the news, for the record, this guy on the news, Ben, <laughs> played college football for Ed Sweeney at Dickinson, and we had three-a-day practices. There was no warming up. It was right into it. But that was a different time, different era. It's also why we were a very good team. Ben Strzok, a certified athletic trainer, Hartford Healthcare Rehabilitation Network. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. The United States